Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear students and viewers, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome you all in today's lecture. In this lecture, we will learn language and properties of language. So, the focus of today's lecture is properties of language. It is essential to define before discussing properties of language to define language that what is language language by different authors according to aristotle language is a speech sound produced by human beings in order to express their ideas thoughts desires and feelings emotions so language is used for the expression of thoughts ideas desires feelings and emotions according to aristotle like in language we have speech sounds and these speech sounds are produced by the community members to express their thoughts ideas etc according to ferdinand de sasso language is an arbitrary system of signs like in language we have signs signs and symbols are there in language and according to Ferdinand de Saussure sign is consist of signifier and signified okay so language is the combination of signifier and signified according to Saussure in these signs like signified and signified are arbitrary we will discuss that what is arbitrary means according to Bloomfield language is the totality of utterances that can be made by speech community is that language of that speech community so what is language according to bloomfield the totality of utterances that can produced by speech community is the language of that speech community so now we are studying language with the help of linguistics okay uh, so linguistics is the scientific study of human language now linguistics is the scientific study now we are discussing different uh, like properties of language how these properties are defined like these properties are defined by linguistics okay so linguistics helps us to define to like uh, to know about language to recognize or realize the properties of language so linguistics is the scientific study of human language it means that there is no language available for animals yes it is a big claim that there is no language available for animals although a system of communication is there like communication communicative signals are there for animals like they are producing sounds and they are conveying ideas so no proper language like the language of human being is available for animals so on the basis of these properties we can make distinction between the language of human beings and communicative signals of the animals dear students remember language is such a remarkable tool in the hands of human beings that make other tools possible so how we are making distinction between the language of uh, animals and communicative signals of animals on the basis of uh, language properties so these properties are missing are these properties are uh, like uh, not involved in the uh, communicative signals of him, uh, communicative signals of animals so that's why for them language is not available we human being we are using language so what are these properties like reflexivity the first property second property is displacement arbitrariness is the third property of language of human language and the fourth property is productivity productivity of human language cultural transmission so these are the properties of human language and another is duality in these properties are lacking in the uh, communicative signals of animals so that's why there is no language available for animals so now 
the first property reflexivity reflexivity is one of the properties of language the property of uh, reflexivity of language means that human beings are able to think and talk about the language itself for example some language user say we wish he would not use so many technical terms are so many uh, difficult terms difficult words complex words it means that the property of reflexivity means that we are discussing language through language we know language through language we study language simply we can say that we study human being can study language through language they can like they can learn language through language okay like for example how we are learning now how we are learning language how we are like explaining things through language in language so this property is known as reflexivity to know language through language is called reflexivity okay so this property is lacking in the animals uh, communicative signals another property of human language is displacement dear students displacement means human being can refer to past and future time in language how human beings can refer to past and present time in language the the allow this property sorry this this allow language user to talk about past present and future events in sharp contrast this this property is not present in animals language they can only refer to the present situation in place yes human beings are able to refer to past and present or future time in language or through language so this property is known as displacement like there is displacement in human uh, in human language they can discuss they can talk they can explain situations uh, like um, taking place will be taking place in future or now presently they are uh, dealing with that very situation so this property is lacking in the uh, language of uh, animals arbitrariness another property of human language is arbitrariness there is no natural arbitrariness means that there is no natural or iconic relationship between linguistics forms and objects it means that there is no natural relationship between words and things like we are using words to represent things okay so uh between the things and the words there is no iconic there is no defined or there is no mutual or natural relationship so this aspects of language is called arbitrariness okay this relationship is called arbitrariness this aspect of relationship between linguistic signs and objects in the world is called arbitrariness for example the word the word dog and the object dog to which it refers us has no mutual relationship yes our dog is used for dog object dog and word dog so between the object dog and word dog there is no natural or uh, iconic relationship so this that's why this property is called arbitrariness okay it means that for animal no language is available animals communicates communicate signals are infinite and limited okay another property of human language is productivity productivity means humans are continuously continuously creating okay continuously continu continuously they are creating new expressions and novel utterances to describe new objects and situations this property of human language is called productivity or creativity or sometimes open endedness yes human beings are able to produce new utterances new forms of words new words the creation of new words is there in the human language so we are creating new words for new ideas for new objects so that's why uh, human language is very productive 
productivity is there in human language. And again, this property is lacking in the uh, communicative signals of uh, like uh, uh, animals. This property is also called creativity or open-endedness, okay? Cultural transmission, another uh, important property of human language is cultural transmission. Like we are using language. Language is our culture and culture is our language. Language represents culture, okay? When language is uh, spoken, culture is reflected. The process whereby a language is passed on from one generation to another, this process is called cultural transmission. Yes, when language is uh, transmitted to the next generation, to the youngers, so culture is also transmitted through language. So this property of language is called cultural transmission. We acquire language from culture. Culture is language while language is our culture. Yes, it's very true. Another property of uh, human language is duality. Duality means human, be human language is organized at two levels or layers simultaneously, okay? This property of language is called duality or double articulation. Yes, in speech physical level to produce individual sounds like n, m, b. Another level to combine these sounds to produce meaning like bin, pin, and tin. This is the important property of language because on the basis of this human can produce infinite utterances upon finite sounds. Yes, divinity in human language means that humans, we are creating two things. We are doing two things, okay, while we are speaking and we are also conveying meanings through language or sometimes we are reading symbols and we are also making meanings of those symbols. So that's why duality is there in human language or double articulation. We are producing words as well as we are producing meanings of those words or we are like making utterances and we are also conveying meanings of those utterances. So this is called duality. Uh, this is one of the important properties of human language. And this property is also lacking in communicator signals of animals. Thanks for watching. Please uh, keep watching and subscribe to that very uh, channel in order to you get uh, new, new ideas and concepts. Assalamu alaikum.